B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus B, plus B. Because it's so much fun in this education for you and everyone to come along. Learn some grammar, hey. learn a phrase, learn something new every day. Learn the A plus way. Hello and welcome to A Plus English. I'm Seb. And I'm Elsie. So Elsie, it's almost winter vacation. 寒假又来了 Yes.、Yay. Well, not for us because this is two months ago. But it's exciting、yeah. stuff, isn't it?、Um, mm-hmm. I'm always very excited for winter vacation. So what do you usually do? Well, normally I go back to Europe. In、oh. winter vacation,、mm-hmm. and I actually booked my plane tickets、Already? yesterday. <gasps> so I'm very excited. Sounds very exciting. Yeah, when you see this, I will be far, far away. So、Whoa. I'm very excited.、Uh, what do you like to do during winter vacation? I like to count my red envelope money、oh. during winter vacation because it's always when Chinese New Year's. Of、Is、course,、there? of、yeah. course, yeah. So you're getting all of that money. Sadly,、Hi. I don't ever get much money because <laughs> because you're old. I'm not Taiwanese, <laughs> so no one gives me any red envelopes. Right.、Uh, okay, except so, yeah. I think our students might be counting money too. Yes, they might. You might be getting some red envelopes,、yeah. hopefully.、Uh, but before you do that, there's、mm-hmm. normally some less fun things that we have to do around winter vacation. Yeah, sure. And we're not talking about the weather. We're talking about winter exams. <laughs> winter uh, exams. Uh,、yeah. I bet they hate them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. I really hated having winter exams、mm-hmm. because at least with summer exams, the year is almost over. Yeah, you know. In、mm-hmm. winter exams, you still have to do half a year of school after you do them. Yes. So we have an article about winter exams today, actually. So let's get started. How to reduce exam stress? It's almost time for our winter vacation. Yes, but first we must take our final exams. I feel so nervous. What about you? Not really. I use special ways to reduce stress. Tell me about them. Sometimes I stop studying and take a quick walk. Exercise does sound like a good idea. Also, I make sure I get eight hours of sleep every night. That's smart. What else? When I have a lot of stress, I play with my cat and dog. How do you focus on studying? I always turn off my phone. It's a distraction. Word power. Vacation. Vacation. My parents are planning our New Year vacation to Japan. My parents are planning our New Year vacation to Japan. Nervous, nervous. I'm so nervous. I have to speak in front of the class today. I'm so nervous. I have to speak in front of the class today. Walk, walk. Paul often takes a walk in the park on weekends. Paul often takes a walk in the park on weekends. Exercise, exercise. Jake does exercise every day to stay strong. Jake does exercise every day to stay strong. 认识智慧 Reduce. Stress, distraction. Today's article is called "How to Reduce Exam Stress." Oh, that is something I always have problems with. Do you have problems with exam stress, Elsie? Yes, the、mm-hmm. day before the exam, right? I can't fall asleep. 
Yeah, that's one of the big problems because、mm-hmm. you need to be rested. You need to sleep well before、mm-hmm. you have an exam. But sometimes, you know, you're very nervous. You're like, oh, what if I? What if it's too hard? What if I forgot to study something? I always get very stressed before But exams. But would you able to、mm-hmm. be? Did you? Would you able to fall asleep? I can sleep up. I can sleep standing up, actually. So really, <laughs> I can sleep in any situation. That's good. But I am not happy. I'm not happy. Anyway,、mm-hmm. let's get started with the article. Okay. We have a dialogue today, and、uh, the first speaker is called Oliver. He says it's almost time for our winter vacation. Vacation. That's our first word. It's a noun, and it's spelled V A C A T I O N. Vacation. A vacation is a period of time that we don't have to go to work or school. Right now, you guys are probably on your winter vacation. You're enjoying a few weeks where you can hang out with your friends and have a break from class. We say that school breaks up when classes end for a vacation period.、Uh, vacation period. The school breaks up. In the UK, the last couple of days before school breaks up for for vacation are full of fun games and activities. So I always really enjoyed the last few days before school broke up. So how else can we use vacation? We can also use it to mean a trip we take somewhere for fun. We can take a vacation when we、uh, take time off school and work, and we can go on a vacation when we travel to another place. My parents. This is our example sentence. Sorry, my parents are planning our New Year vacation to Japan. My parents are planning our New Year vacation to Japan. Vacation 代表就是假期啦。那例句说呢，我爸妈正在规划我们新年的时候要去日本的假期。所以当我们听到一个人 is on vacation， for example， he is on vacation， 代表他正在度假。Mm-hmm. 那有什么样的假期呢？除了 winter vacation 寒假之外，还有 summer vacation 暑假。同学们也很喜欢。Mm-hmm. 那回到课文呢， Oliver 说寒假要到了， winter vacation is coming。So there's only two vacations in Taiwan. Winter vacation and summer vacation. Yeah, big、ah, vacations. Ah, we have another one. We have Easter vacation as Easter well. Easter vacation, 复活节要放假 Yes, we have that one too. Anyway, back to the article.、Uh, Oliver is talking to a girl called Amelia, and she says, "Yes, but first we must take our final exams." Ugh. Ugh. 要先考期末考，考完才可以放假。Final exam 就是期末考，那我们还有一种是期中考，那就是 midterm exam. Mm-hmm. So we're having those exams in the middle of the year.、Mm-hmm. Uh, so Oliver says, "I feel so nervous. What about you?" I would feel nervous too. I would feel nervous definitely because these exams are very important.、Mm-hmm. Nervous. That's an adjective, and it's spelled N-E-R-V-O-U-S. Nervous. When someone is nervous, they are not sure about what will happen in the future, and they are scared that something will go wrong. Some people get nervous more easily than others, and that's okay. But when we get nervous, it's good for us to calm our nerves, you know, make ourselves relax or fang song, so we don't feel nervous anymore. So, how do we feel when we are not nervous and we are sure that everything is going to be okay? We feel confident. Confident people feel good about the future and are certain about their abilities. We can also steady ourselves and find our confidence if we just relax. Here's an example sentence using nervous. I'm so nervous. I have to speak in front of the class today. I'm so nervous. I have to speak in front of the class today. Nervous 这个形容词呢，相信同学们都很熟悉，它代表的是紧张的、情绪不安的。那例句说啊，我好紧张哦，我今天要在全班面前演讲。那刚刚 Sabio 提到，如果你够 confident， 够有自信的话，那也许 you won't feel nervous、mm-hmm.。那如果你不紧张，你的心情是 calm 平静的。那课文说啊、mm-hmm. ，Oliver 说到，我觉得很紧张，你呢？ So is Amelia as nervous as Oliver? It doesn't seem like Amelia is that nervous. She says, "Not really. I use special ways to reduce stress." That's good. I think that's a very good skill、mm-hmm. to have when you're doing lots of exams, isn't it? 
。Not really， 这两个字代表不尽然、不全然、嗯，所以代表他不是太紧张。因为 Amelia 说，我用特别的方式来 reduce stress。Reduce、嗯、这个动词减少、减轻。那这边减少、减轻的是 stress 压力。嗯哼 ，Oliver says。Tell me about them. Tell me how you are reducing your stress. I want to know how to. Yes, me too. Oliver wants to know Amelia's reducing stress methods. So,、mm -hmm. how does she do it? Well, she has a few pieces of advice. First, Amelia says, "Sometimes I stop studying and take a quick walk." I think that's a great idea.、Yeah. I do that a lot when I'm writing really、mm -hmm. long articles and I get stuck and I'm starting to get stressed because I can't think of what to do.、Mm -hmm. I get up and I take a quick walk. Yeah, and when、mm -hmm. you take a quick walk, maybe you have more ideas. Yes, and at least you can relax as well.、Mm. Get yourself out of that. Bad headspace. Get rid of those bad emotions. Yeah,、you、but can stop being stressed. Right.、Mm -hmm. So stop. 后面如果加上 verb ing 的时候，它代表是停下你在做的事情。Mm -hmm. So stop talking. 停止讲话。Stop playing with your phone. 停下，不要玩手机。Stop watching TV. 不要再看电视了。Mm -hmm. 那如果我们今天听到的是 stop to 后面加上原形动词的话，代表的是停下手边的动作去做那件事情。For example, 你在打电动，妈妈跟你说 stop to do your homework，、mm -hmm. 代表叫你停下打电动的动作， right. 去写你的功课。Not stop doing your homework。嗯，或者是呢，你在看电视，爸爸跟你说、mm -hmm. stop to clean the house， 那代表是你要去做清理房子的动作。Mm -hmm. And here, Amelia 说到，有的时候呢，我会停止读书，然后去 take a quick walk。嗯哼 ，take a quick walk. That's a noun, and it's spelled. W A L K, walk. So the first thing we need to know about walk is it's one of those annoying English words that sounds different to how it's spelled. We say walk, but we spell it W A L K, so it's not walk. Anyway, a walk is something we do when we go somewhere slowly and on foot. We can say take a walk or go for a walk. On the weekend, I like to go for walks in Taipei's Da'an Park and in Yangmingshan National Park. We can call a walk up a mountain a hike too. Walk can also be used as a verb to mean to travel on foot. You can walk to school or walk from store to store when you're shopping. Here's an example sentence of walk as a noun. Paul often takes a walk in the park on weekends. Paul often takes a walk in the park on weekends. Walk, 我们以前学都是动词的用法，走路。那这边呢，当名词用，代表散步、步行，通常搭配的是 take a walk. Take a walk. 那例句说呢、mm -hmm. ，Paul 周末的时候常常在公园里面散步。嗯哼。So Oliver says, "Exercise does sound like a good idea, right? We've got our next vocab word there, exercise, which is another noun, and it's spelled E X E R C I S E. Exercise. Exercise is something we do when we move our bodies or do an activity to keep fit. There are lots of types of exercise out there. We can go for a run or a jog." As we just said, or we can go to the gym and work out there. That's another way of saying do exercise. Work out is a work out is do exercise. So there are other types of exercise too. Soccer, baseball, and other sports are also types of exercise. Here's an example of the、uh, noun form of exercise. Now, Jake does exercise every day to say to stay strong. Jake does exercise every day to stay strong. Exercise 这个字呢，可以当动词或是名词来使用。那当动词是运动，当名词也是运动。所以刚刚例句我们看到 ，Jake does exercise。这边的 exercise 当的就是名词来解释。那我们可以把它换作 Jake exercises every day to stay strong、mm。-hmm. 那例句说的就是呢 ，Jake 借由每天做运动来保持强壮。回到课文来 ，Oliver 说啊，运动听起来真的是一个不错的点子。通常呢，助动词 do 或 does 或者他们的过去式 did， 它会在否定句或者是疑问句当中出现。但是有的时候，你也会在肯定句当中看到他们哦。那我们就先进 Magic Box 听讲师讲解他们的用法。Magic Box 找亮点。
。我、哦、小丑女最爱大场面，爆破火花，多么刺激哦！像我这样子浮夸的人呢，要形容我的情绪，哎，一般的直述句呢，绝对是不够不够。那要怎么样才够呢？我们就要请出这个超级好用的助动词 do 来帮帮我们的忙喽。我们呢，大家应该都有学过怎么用这个助动词了。这边呢，帮大家复习一下下喽。我们通常呢是在问句里面看到它，比方说呢 ，Do you like this movie？ 你喜不喜欢这部电影啊 ？Did he do his homework last night？ 他昨晚又做他的功课吗？而在直述句当中呢，我们通常是在否定的时候呢才会看到它了。He doesn't like me， 他不喜欢我啦。呜。所以呢 ，do 要怎么样在句子里面发生这个强调的作用呢？我们呢就在肯定的直述句里面加上 do 就可以了，就是这么简单。例如啊，我很喜欢吃这个蛋糕 ，I like this cake。我们呢就在动词前面呢加上肯定的助动词哦 ，I do like this。Cake, OK， 中文呢就翻译为呢，我真的很喜欢这个蛋糕哦，我的确喜欢，真心诚意。OK， 在这边呢，我们 do 就发挥了强调的作用，就是这么的简单。我们呢可以再看一个例句了，马上啊，我的电影就要上映了，邀请你们来了。Please do come. OK， 我们在这个祈使句呢。Please come， 请来。我们在这个 come 这个动词前面呢加上的 do。Please do come， 请务必要来。这里呢就表达的这个我真挚、诚恳的邀请。要是你没来呢，哼哼哼，我就会很伤心喽。do 啊，这个助动词用来强调呢，还很常搭配了这个期待、希望了。I do hope this problem gets solved as soon as possible。我真心的希望呢，这个问题可以快点解决。或者是呢 ，I do expect better performance from you。我衷心期待呢，你能有更好的表现。do 很长呢，就是在这种时候出现了加强语气。以上呢就是 do 用来强调的用法。I do hope you've learned everything. 真心希望你全部都学起来喽。So we're back to our article now, and Amelia says also I make sure I get eight hours of sleep every night. That's a very good piece of advice there. Do you manage to get eight hours of sleep every night? I try to. Me、But、too. Always like、mm-hmm. Six to seven hours.、Mm-hmm. Yeah,、Not、it's always、hours. six to seven. I always、right. at eleven p.m. I'm thinking, I should go to bed soon.、But、I should go to bed, but I go on my phone、I、or I'm、know. watching、I、Netflix, and soon it's twelve thirty. So next time、mm-hmm. we need to make sure we, we do that. We need to make sure that we go to bed sooner. Yes. So、yes. make sure. 后面加上 that 一个以及一个子句的时候呢，可以表示确保某件事发生。Amelia 说，而且我也确保我每天晚上都睡满八小时。八小时非常重要，睡饱才有精神考试。嗯、mm-hmm. mm-hmm.。So Oliver says that's smart. He agrees with us.、Mm-hmm. And then he says, what else? 还有吗？ Mm-hmm. Emilia says, <laughs> "When I have a lot of stress, I play with my cat and dog." Oh,、mm-hmm. when it is a verb to connect with, it means when it is a little bit of stress. So when Emilia has a lot of stress, she plays with her cat and dog. That's a good way too. Yeah, there's something about pets that always helps you relax.、Mm. You know? Yeah.、Um, so Oliver thinks that's very good, but he wants to know how he can improve his grades. He says. How do you focus on studying? How do you focus on studying? Focus on something、mm-hmm. 代表专注于某件事上面。所以 Oliver 问他，那你是怎么样专注在读书上的呢、mm-hmm. ？What's Amelia's answer? Right. Amelia says, "I always turn off my phone. It's a distraction." Right. That is true.、Mm-hmm. Distraction, 使人分心的事物。Mm-hmm. 手机真的是使人分心的事物。所以 Amelia 说，我都会关掉我的手机，因为手机是令人分心的东西。Mm-hmm. 那关掉手机，我们用 turn off the cell phone。打开，我们就用 turn on the cell phone。记得后面是要加有电源的东西哦。Mm-hmm. And I totally agree with Amelia. My phone is a distraction for me too. Me too.、Mm. Normally, I like to put a sticker on my phone that says me. "Put me down." Oh. So when I look at it and I want to answer, check my messages, and you、I'm、put like, it down. It's not time. I'm studying right now.、Uh-huh. I'm working right now. I'm not going to look at my phone. 
Okay, so we will have more tips for you tomorrow on how you can study、mm-hmm. for exams, on how you can reduce your stress. But first, let's go to review time and check out some of today's words. Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽 Okay, activity time, and we've got a lot of very good words for playing、mm-hmm. one of my favorite games today. Can you guess what it is? I guess your favorite one is charades. It is. You guessed correctly. My favorite <laughs> one is charades. You win a game of charades. Yay! Okay, so. You guys probably remember, but、mm-hmm. let's go over the rules again. In charades, we have to act out a word without making any sounds, and the other person has to guess what that word is. 没错，一个也，一个猜，演的不能说话。Okay, so I'm going to act out a word now. Let me see. Okay, I've got it. 这个太会演了吧？就很紧张啊，对不对 ？What are you nervous about? I I'm nervous. That's what I am. <laughs> I'm nervous that you're not gonna guess it, but you did. Nervous. Okay. Do you want to do one now? Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> that is. N- that doesn't look like a vacation I would go on. It's、no. definitely not a vacation. <gasps> oh. Are you plumbing a toilet? <laughs> No, I think you're doing exercise. I am. Yes. Or we could also say you're exercising. Right. We could use the verb as well. Yeah, just 运动 Okay. Let me see. How about、One. we leave the last two to our students? Yeah. Okay. Let's leave、yeah. the last two to the students.、You've、I think they'll do a good job. Good words. You can think about how you can act those out、mm-hmm. now. But、uh, that's all we've got time for on A Plus English. We'll see you tomorrow when we'll tomorrow. talk more about how you can reduce your exam stress. Bye bye. Bye. How to reduce exam stress? It's almost time for our winter vacation. Yes, but first we must take our final exams. I feel so nervous. What about you? Not really. I use special ways to reduce stress. Tell me about them. Sometimes I stop studying and take a quick walk. Exercise does sound like a good idea. Also, I make sure I get eight hours of sleep every night. That's smart. What else? When I have a lot of stress, I play with my cat and dog. How do you focus on studying? I always turn off my phone. It's a distraction. Word power. Vacation. Vacation. My parents are planning our New Year vacation to Japan. My parents are planning our New Year vacation to Japan. Nervous, nervous. I'm so nervous. I have to speak in front of the class today. I'm so nervous. I have to speak in front of the class today. Walk, walk. Paul often takes a walk in the park on weekends. Paul often takes a walk in the park on weekends. Exercise, exercise. Jake does exercise every day to stay strong. Jake does exercise every day to stay strong. 认识智慧 Reduce stress distraction.